regulation of the digestive system is going to be complex um, and pretty cool. I'm going to introduce it here and we're going to come back and see it happen in action, right, once we dive into the specific components and steps of the, of the process. Um, but just for general, right, you know about regulation of stuff already. You know we have to have sensory receptors. So for the digestive system, that could be stretch, mechanoreceptors detecting stretch, um, chemical receptors detecting food particles. It can even be like the sight and smell of food. Um, those stimuli are going to detect sensory receptor, are going to be detected by sensory receptors. Um, and we'll, we'll come back and see examples of this. That's going to trigger various responses. Nervous system and endocrine system. So we're gonna have hormone release. Um, so this one, I'm not gonna talk about much more than just this right now. It, when we get to um, back to stomach, small intestine, uh, pancreas, we're going to going to see examples of these. So from the stomach, there's gastrin released. From the um, duodenum, the, the small intestine, there's going to be um, secretin and CCK that are released. So we'll see those later. Nervous system, I'm gonna focus on a little bit more in this, this lecture here. So what's different about the digestive system is it has an intrinsic nervous system and extrinsic. This is a similar idea to local and central control with like um, blood flow, but this is actually a nervous system like response. So there's actually the enteric nervous system is not connected to the, the central nervous system. It's a digestive system specific nervous system. Pretty cool. Thought to actually kind of be almost like a little, little central nervous system of its own. It's almost like a, its own brain. Um, this is going to allow for really short reflexes, local control, quick control that is separate from central nervous system regulation. So this is central nervous system, what you think of as your nervous system. And so autonomic nervous system is going to be um, what's, what's doing this. And these are going to be longer reflexes um, going all the way to the central nervous system. Even if you know, even your knee jerk reflex that goes to the spinal cord. These are not gonna do that. These are, and hypothalamus as well. So I'm gonna talk a little bit more about this one um, in this video, and we'll come back to both of these as we get mostly to stomach and, and small intestine. So I've showed this picture before. Now this is things labeled, but I wanna point out here, here's this intrinsic nerve plexus, um, two of them. And they innervate different places. These are, these don't connect. I mean, they do connect, I should say. They don't require CNS activity. The central nervous system can regulate them, of course, um, but they can act independently. So the rest of this anatomy should be pretty familiar. Um, so the whole alimentary canal has its own nerve supply made up these, of these enteric neurons. Here is a visualization of this, um, where they're stained in this yellow. You can see how extensive this enteric nervous system is, pretty cool. Um, so these are going to control motility. Um, so submucosal is going to control like mucus production. My enteric is gonna control mostly motility. Um, smooth muscle control movement through the intestine. So let's, yeah, ignore that arrow there. Okay. So first we've got, we've got short reflexes and long reflexes. The short reflexes are entirely modulated by those enteric nerve plexuses. So you could have, um, let's say some, let's have two different stimuli here. One is going to be an internal stimulus. So it could be stretch, 
it could be pH change, it could be um, some food stuff like a solute that's present. This is going to be detected by the relevant receptors. So receptors, either chemoreceptors, osmoreceptors, mechanoreceptors, this can actually just talk to the local intrinsic um, plexus. This is our enteric nervous system, your gut's brain. This is going to cause an effect. For example, um, so smooth muscle glands and depending on, right, if there's stretch, um, we'll get back to, to some examples of this. Right now, what I want to point out is that this is a short reflex. That's what I'm highlighting here, is this is all regulated by local no CNS, intrinsic only. This is called a short reflex. We also, though, can have an external stimulus, right? We could have like the sight of food, the smell of food. This isn't the only stimulus, this is one example. That is also detected by receptors in a different location of the body. So I have them out here, like nose, eyes. Um, this is going to go to the central nervous system and can influence that local enteric nervous system. So there's two levels of control, very similar idea to the two levels of control of local blood flow, blood pressure, and um, essential control. And this is um, autonomic nervous system. This is a long reflex. There's more components involved. It's part of it. Well, so we'll see this again. Um, let me ask you this, learning check. How does the parasympathetic nervous system specifically affect digestion? It, it decreases, it increases it, right? Um, it's going to increase elevation, increase motility, um, all, we'll see that, we'll see that more. And we've got another learning check right away again. 